Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and today I would like to show you my Penta NG Nitro Incredible Ship. The general idea behind the P-E-N-I-S, bear in mind, I will never say this word as a one word because no, let's say, let's call it a willy. Um, the general idea behind the pentacopter. Pentacopter uh, with one pusher wing is absolutely nothing new. Uh, back in the day, somewhere three years ago, when UAV Futures was still doing a good and bearable content and RC model a view review aka Bruce Simpson was doing a content on the regular basis something very similar like that popped on the market it was called the Foxtex Creamer 250 or something like that and it also it was more or less regular uh, quadcopter, quadcopter with slightly tilted arms in the back and the pusher pusher propeller and the pusher ESC this is my version of the Screamer 250 or rather a pentacopter with a pusher wing nothing this is really absolutely nothing special this is the normal the cheapest really the cheapest i could find martian to frame it's so cheap that it's not even a full carbon see over here it's the focus it's the some kind of a foam who knows what the fuck is really that the motors um i paid for the motors they are called uh, cu or ciu i think i paid like four euros around four bucks for each motors this sucks they really suck the cable there's still insulation on the cable so it's really like a nightmare to connect them to anything it's the cheapest four in one esc race star something something I had the receiver, I had the Eachin TX805 VTX, the cheapest camera and, and almost everything is the cheapest and the GPS put on this so only I can I could check how fast this is going and this is all. Of course the, the motor itself, the pusher motor is the it's not anyhow automated how it operates because you have you have two, only two sticks and uh, because how the quadcopter really flies you do not have a stick to which you can assign this motor because it's not working like that that it does the regular quadcopters does not have an easily assign, uh, assignable stick to just engage the pusher um, this is why this is why i'm just engaging this on the switch i have this uh, this channel and this esc assigned on the switch over here so when i push the switch like this it's 75 percent like that it's 100 percent throttle and this is all this is all this is absolutely nothing nothing fancy and as you were able to see in the original the, the opening line it kind of flies right kind of like now, now, now the question is how this behaves in the air. Well, it's special. It's special. It gives some interesting experience behind the sticks. Uh, but uh, no, th this definitely is not something that you would want to fly on everyday basis because, like I said, it's special. Now, let's watch some footage, uh, FPV footage and maybe not only FPV footage and you will be able to determine by yourself how this thing is behaving in the air.
as you can see the willy flies kind of it's special. It's special because uh, of how I had to install the camera. You cannot really fly it like a normal quadcopter because the camera is flat. So you have more or less information when you are going, when the pusher propeller is enabled. Uh, so it's really like hard. The motors on the arms, those 2204 are extremely weak and they do not deliver an enough trust for any interesting things in the air. Also the pusher, 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 pusher motor is also the same 2204, which really by today's standards, it's really not enough torque to do anything very, very interesting. So, um, yeah, we're, oh, have I lost a thread? No, I did not lost a thread. So it's special. Like the original Screamer 2000, uh, 250 it really screams in the air why because the real propeller is catching the disturbed air from the uh, back uh, propellers and it really the sound is like okay i should not i should stop making those kind of noises and you really can hear it when it's going on 100 percent. it's really like a very distinguishable noise um you can fly it you can fly it and uh, in the way that every time you fly it's like the yo flat spin because you can just keep the horizon level keep everything level engage the uh, pusher uh, propeller and do every almost not, not uh, most of the maneuvers only using the yo just like you were flying um, let's say a normal airplane not a drone so the feeling behind the stick it's closer to the an airplane than a drone when the rear uh, propeller is enabled. Of course, if I would tilt the uh, camera upwards like we do in our uh, drones and do not engage the real propeller, it will just like, like every single other regular drone. Of course, um, because there is a problem. The problem, let me show you something. I have the I have the wheelie over here. The problem is that because how arms are installed, I had to move the rear motor pretty, pretty far away so that uh, it's not interacting too much with the real propellers. And that means that this really has a lot of moment of inertia on the pitch axis. And if I install the battery, the battery has to be really up front to negate for the extra weight from the rear motor. This is why any maneuvers and acrobatics on the pitch axis really like it sucks. It, it almost has no authority uh, comparing to the roll, but on the roll it's more or less fine. Of course the yaw works almost like on the, any other regular drone and it's fine. And in the air you can hit the gates if the gates are big you can uh, do some acrobatics behind the trees i'm usually doing you can feel that this is not really the normal drone and you cannot pull it like you would pull a normal drone but as long as you keep it more or less steady uh, it goes it's from time to time from time to time especially when you are doing a really uh, 180 turn something like this then something very very nasty happens because then the real propellers are catching the disturbed air from the pusher propeller and what happened it really like goes into a very strange wobble while facing um, usually while facing the front side down and it's really like oops what just happened behind the stick I'm not sure if any case like this was in the FPV footage but this is really highly ir irritating and this probably is the worst behavior that this thing was really pushing uh, pr presenting when I was flying it so more or less 180 degrees tight turn is out of the question when you want to have nice experience but besides that yeah super cheap really this is the cheapest squad I ever, no, not a quad, the pen, this is the cheapest Penta I've ever built because almost everything is either so cheap that you really could not find uh, anything uh, better or used or I something I found deep uh, in one of my drawers over here with uh, old stuff. The, the, not the, 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 the mount for the motor, if you have a Martian, spare Martian 2 or not a spare Martian 2, uh, the STL for the print is uh, linked to this on the Thingiverse, is in the description, of course, so you can download, print it, install anything, connect this to a switch on your uh, radio and you are ready to fly like you want it. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for today. That was really interesting design.
I'm really happy I've built it. What else? Almost 100 kilometers per hour. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, this will not survive in this configuration for very long because I have an idea for a few sl slightly different mini drones. So probably this week or the next week I will just disassemble the fifth pusher propeller and instead I will build either the V-tail or the A-tail. You know what is it? If not, subscribe so you will know in a few weeks. Oh, and by the way, I'm also working on something like that. It will be a drone. You see? Two motors and the servos. It will be a drone. It will be amazing. So, um, please do subscribe uh, with the notification, please, so you know when I post that, uh, a new interesting, hopefully interesting material. And uh, hit like and comment in the comment section and do stuff you're doing usually because, yeah, thank you. And thank you to my huge Huge thanks to my Patreon supporters. So uh, this actually was funded thanks to your help. And uh, thank you one more time. Okay, so this is all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.